Hey, what's up everybody? Paramount Cyclops here and uh yeah, you're going to be able to smell your porn here in the future. That's right. That deep dark fantasy that you had about smelling that thing that you're seeing someone else do to someone else that you wish that you were doing to that person. You can now smell the experience too. <laughs> Let's get right into it. This is from the Huffington Post. Of course. Virtual reality smell porn. Get a big whiff of the future. All right, let's look at this thing. What does this look like? Wow. Wow, that is quite the getup, isn't it? Think porn already stinks? It just got a lot bit smellier? That doesn't even make sense. Think porn already stinks. It's just got a lot bit smellier. A lot bit, has it? Who is this by? David Moy. Look at this. Think porn already stinks? It just got a lot bit smellier. <laughs> what do you expect out of the Huff Post? Ah, let's keep going. Thanks to the miracle of virtual reality, adult entertainment company Cam Soda is introducing a gas mask designed to enhance its online sex shows by allowing users to smell scents chosen by the performers. Okay, so uh, I, I, I could see some issues coming up with that. Uh, smells chosen by the performers. Well, what happens if, say, the performer hits the wrong scent? And, you know, by accident or maybe even by purpose, maybe the video gets released on, like, I don't know, April Fool's Day or something, and they're a, a, a sadistic, the <laughs> sadistic little fuck, basically. And so you're sitting there and you're watching two chicks go at it and you're like, oh yeah, 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 I can smell the 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 pussy. I can I can smell the, the female uh pheromones. And then all of a sudden, right in the middle of it, you get the smell of like nut sweat because they made a mistake or they did it on purpose. This that's like the one bad uh sunflower seed in a bag you're munching along everything's going good then you get that one bad sunflower seed the whole experience is ruined for the day or at least the hour people who purchase its oroma technology will get the mask as well as two canisters that fit into it with the help of an app the mask pairs with bluetooth on a user's smartphone oroma technology Smell the porn. Users can then watch a cam performer in virtual reality and experience the odors they've chosen from their own personal scent profile. Okay, so how do they exactly get this scent profile? So let, let's say I was a porn star and I, I wanted uh, one of the scents to be butt crack scent. Would I have to like run a couple miles wearing sweats and whatnot and then go to this machine and rub the... Uh, butt crack sweat out so that way I could let you experience the same smell that I enjoy every day. <laughs> Users can then watch a cam performer in virtual reality and experience words they've chosen with their own personal scent file. Personal scent file. So they're making their own files. They can put whatever scent they want then, huh? I, I could see some interesting mistakes happening that can include everything from perfume odors to ocean smells to body odor yeah so body odor okay and even the scent of sex organs okay so yeah so you could you could totally play a prank on somebody i bet you that somebody could hack into that system and change it so that way whatever you want to smell it switches it to the opposite or something Cam Soda President Darren Lundeen believes odor-oriented porn is the next step to making virtual reality more real than ever. Okay, so if it goes right, yeah, I could see it being a, a, a crazy experience, because part of the experience of, of sex is 
the smells, the feels, the sensation, the smells, the emotional, there's a lot of senses to it. So bringing in the sense of smell, yeah, I could see that making it a much more exciting experience. And then they would make a lot more money because, let's face it, nothing sells better than sex. We're trying to touch on every possible way to make VR more than just vert visual, Lundin told HuffPost. <laughs> Currently, a successful cam model can make between $75 to $100 for a 30-minute show. $75 to $100 for a 30-minute show, so up to like $200 bucks an hour? Wow. Well, good for them. Holy crap. Man, they're making good money. Good for them. Good for them. According to the company, Lundin predicts using the Oroma technology could add an additional 25% to those earnings. Florida-based cam performer Victoria Ryan thinks nose porn is an idea whose time has come. Nose porn. Nose porn. Now you just make it sound like two noses just rubbing together and that, that's some sort of a sexual thing. Now on Nose Porn 101, a sharp nose rubs against a stubby nose. Bow, chicka, bow, wow, chicka, bow, wow. Yep. Oh, sorry. Oh, Florida based cam performer Victoria Ryan thinks nose porn is an idea whose time has come. There are a lot of guys who watch my shows who tell me, God, I wish I could smell you, she told HuffPost. And some will drop 50 bucks just to buy my panties. I got some used underwear for sale. I'll even discount them 50 bucks. I'll sell them to you for 25 bucks. Uh, oh. Oh. My. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay. Ryan, 22, took great time and care preparing her smell profile based on a wide array of scent options. So are they pre-programmed scent options or, or, or are they actually your scent? I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. I wanted to incorporate something that smelled as close to me as possible. She said, okay, so it's going to be preset scents that are, are just like, you can probably tweak them a little bit here and there. Okay. I do a lot of beach and pool shows, so I wanted to have the smell of salt water, sunscreen, maybe a chlorine smell, or coconut tanning oil. See, that, that sounds like it would be awesome uh, being able to watch a porn uh, out by some sort of a beach setting and you can smell the salt water uh, maybe it's a hotel and it's beachside and you can smell the pool that that would that would make it exciting yeah that would make it cool I could see that I could see that she also looked for smells that matched her own body order I sort of wanted a fruity musky scent that would blend with a flowery perfume she said I imagine I want to change that smell when I hit MILF status. <laughs> MILF status, okay. Uh, okay, so uh, the actress can choose what kind of scents and things. All right. Um, okay. All right. I could see it uh, being a money-making idea. Where do I invest? <laughs> Lundin says different perf performers... We'll use different scents for different shows. Well, of course they will. They're not all going to use the same scent. Then everybody's going to think, hey, man, all these porn stars, they, they all smell the same. <laughs> for instance, a woman dressing up like a horny housewife may want to incorporate the smell of baking bread into a show. Ah, very good. The models will figure out what works and what doesn't, he said, quickly emphasizing that odors of urine and feces won't be available. Uh, it won't be available yet. Give it time, give it time, give it time, give it time. Chicago-based smell researcher Dr. Alan Hirsch hasn't examined the mast or the smells, but recommends perfumes familiarize the performers, sorry, familiarize themselves with odors known to increase sexual arousal before they create their smell profile. I wonder how long it'll take them before they create pheromones that are like a drug. They make you addicted to a certain performer, and each performer slightly tweaks this weird pheromone type thing, so that way you're 
addicted to that particular performer. Whenever that performer comes, the pheromones make you like happy and and uh, euphoric feeling. <laughs> so, all right, how much is this? He expects the sensory mask will be available in three months at an estimated price of fifty nine ninety nine. The smell canisters are designed to last between three to six months. Replacements canist canisters should sell for around 30 bucks. Hmm. It remains to be seen whether nose porn will join the pantheon of great erotic innovations such as virtual reality threesomes, robot hand jobs, or sex dolls equipped with artificial intelligence. I don't know. I could see it enhancing the experience. That's uh, It's a very interesting, interesting idea. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe. You guys keep it real.